crossed the desert where they found a treasure of invaluable power. A treasure that could be used to change the world. The key to the book of books. The theological researcher Bachmann deciphers a code for the fate of mankind. Together with his daughter Johanna, he wants to prevent this code from getting into the wrong hands. But an international criminal organization whose power reaches to the highest pontifical circles is also hot on Bachmann's heels. The theological scientist is murdered. Now it's up to the cop to keep the Holy Scripture's last secret. Johanna sets out to find those who murdered her father. His assistant, Simon, joins her. It soon becomes clear to both that it is a deadly burden they are carrying with them. They get caught in a global intrigue which leads them back to the very center of Christianity, the Vatican. Simon and Johanna have no chance against an enemy so powerful, but they refuse to give up the Bible code without a fight. Their opponent prepares the strike. Not only Johanna and Simon's lives are in danger, the very existence of mankind is at stake because with the help of the Bible code, everyone's future can be predicted. In the wrong hands, a diabolical instrument. Then they discover the very target is located in the heart of the Vatican. Pope Innocent V is to become the victim of a murderous conspiracy. Simon and Johanna succeed in preventing the assassination, but in order to thwart the crime organization's sinister plans, they must find the key to the Bible code. They discover an important clue at a convent, which leads the two to the middle of the Negev desert. Bible code.